Hello, welcome to my third video on EDU Blogs. Uh, I've showed you how to create a blog, how to log in, what the dashboard kind of is. Now I'm going to go a little more in depth. Um, the whole point of a blog is to make posts, to share your opinion or share ideas, facts, information. And so this video is going to be about that. How do you make a post? Um, as I talked about last time, there's a lot of stuff going on in your dashboard. A lot. This is where you do everything for your blog. What I want you to concentrate on now, though, um, is the right now aspect. As you can see, I, I said before, the content, that's what you've made, what you've posted on your website. It's content. Um, and I said before, um, EDU Blogs automatically makes one post for you. So what I want you to do right now is, if we go here, we can click on the post. And what it's going to do is, by clicking on post, it will bring up a list of all the posts you have made which just so happens right now it's only be one <laughs> so what I want to do is from this area you can edit posts you can do a quick edit you can trash it or you can just view the post along with that if you look at the top of the screen right next to posts it says add new that's how we'd create a new post so actually the first thing I want to do I'm going to select this post and since I didn't write it I'm going to trash it Get rid of it. And what we're going to do, as soon as that's done, is we're going to write our first post. So go up to the tab of the screen, next to post, click Add New. And this is what a posting screen looks like. Um, it's pretty simple. You, you can almost think of it as a Word document, because you pretty much have all those options that you would in a Microsoft Word or an Apple Pages document. Uh, first thing we need is title it. Uh, this is my first post, and it is awesome. This will be the big, bold title at the top of your post. Usually keep it short, sweet, to the point, maybe a little more shorter and sweeter than mine is. Um, but what we really want to work with is the body of the post, which is down here. Uh, and so you can type whatever you want down here. Um, this is where your content goes. You could be writing about whatever, whatever we're going to include in the class. Um, I just want to show you a few different options you have. Much like any kind of word processing program, you can alter the text, bold, italicize, you can change where it appears, you can align left, align center, align right. You can even change the language. Um, you can put quotes. You can do uh, ordered lists. You can do bulleted lists. You can really do most things you can with normal word processing. So I'm going to leave it at that. Just keep it short and simple. You're pretty much done. It's that simple. You've created a post. Now you can do other things. You can. Um, There it is. <laughs> you can add um, media to your post. You can, if you look to upload an insert right above the post box, you can add an image, video, audio, or other types of media. Since you're using a free blog, I would not recommend it or use it sparingly because you only have 20 megabytes of space, which isn't a lot. <laughs> Anyways, so we are ready to post. Uh, what I want you to do next is you can either preview it if we go over to the right you can just save it as a draft or you can publish you know what we're just gonna publish it so click publish <clears throat> and now this post has been published to your website next step you need to do is go take a look at it so we're gonna go all the way up to the top click visit site and as you can see my awesome website which I've not changed the look of but if we look here you can see the title I chose this is my first post and it is awesome and then the body of my content you also note it posts the date who wrote it and if there's any comments on it it's that simple though 